you guys and welcome back to my channel it is sunday and i have been waiting for the weather to be good enough to take the ferrets outside and set up their pin which i got lat for them last year but this year i bought some more panels to make it a little bit bigger and i have been dying to set it up so we're gonna do that today and let them play outside i'm gonna give them their flea medicine and um then we're gonna do it here we go okay so we have a surprise for the ferrets today taking them outside but they need to get their flea medicine, which I get from my vet. It's a prescription. So there are over-the-counter flea medicines that you can use with your ferret. But um, these come from the vet, and you can only get them from the vet. So if you take your ferret outside, it is recommended that you flea treat them because they can get fleas and ticks, and you don't want that. Trust me. So um, I've been using Revolution for puppies and kittens under 5 pounds with my ferrets for the last 5 years. It works really well, and we just like it. So here's how we put it on. You don't want these. You get three in a pack. I have six ferrets, so two packs does the ferrets. All right. Here, who wants to go first? All right. And you just want to get in between the shoulder blades. Hi, you want some flea medicine? Okay, so I do want to say that I have a video and I'll link it above with more information on the fleas and how to put on flea medicine and all of that with your ferrets. Um, like I said, I use Revolution. I am not a vet. If you're unsure what to use with your ferrets or you were, have concerns, talk to your vet. Um, that's my recommendation. I've been using this, like I said, for a lot of years with my ferrets and it works great. Um, Revolution that I use, what, what I use, it also takes care of um, fleas and ticks it takes care of heartworm. It prevents heartworm. It helps with mange. Ferrets don't typically get mange, but it can happen. Um, it's not as common as like having it in dogs. Um, let's see. It also controls hook and roundworm. So it's great because it kind of does everything. If your ferrets don't go outside and you don't have any other animals outside, you may not need to flea treat. I have dogs and cats that go in and out of the house all the time. They are all flea treated. I've not really had a flea infestation but I also just taking them outside, it's not worth the risk. And where I live in Pennsylvania, it is tick crazy. Pennsylvania is like one of the biggest states in the country for Lyme disease. Um, if, if it's not the most Lyme infected state, I don't know how else to say that. A lot of people get Lyme. There's a lot of Lyme ticks in our state. And, and um, I had a dog that had Lyme here. It's just crazy. And I don't want the ferrets getting ticks. And honestly, the ticks are atrocious. They're terrible. They're just horrible. I can't tell you how many times I've taken ticks off me and had to go get antibiotics. Like, it's just rough. So it's really important that they're treated because they're just so little. And I don't want to do anything that would ever hurt them. So we're going to let this medicine do whatever it does. Um, it dries within a couple hours. Even if it didn't, I'd take them outside right now. But the problem is I have to go set up everything. So because it's... I took their pen down last year and then this year I bought some extra panels to make it bigger and so I have to go reset the whole thing up. My husband cut the grass and took care of all the lawn yesterday so it looks amazing and it's all ready to go. So I'm going to go um, set all of that up and then come back and get my babies. They're going to be so excited. I cannot wait to take them outside. They're going to be so excited. They love playing in this particular pen that I got them. Um, it just allows them a lot of room to run and they love it. They just love it.
rain on us. I know it's messed up, isn't it? Let mama see. Let mama see how far you got. Oh, buddy, good job. Good boy. Oh, my Lord. What are we doing in here? How are we? Hello, what are you doing? Mama, is with you? Hi. What are you doing? You playing? Weasel over here. Hi, dude. Come in. You digging? Mama's not gonna let you dig out of there, dopus. No. I wanted to do macaroni dig box with the ferrets. So I went to the store and I bought a ton of macaroni and um, they love it. So now we have a box of macaroni sitting in their room, which is great. They haven't used the bathroom in it, which is amazing because with the rice, sometimes they do that, which is why I don't leave the rice out. Um, and then also I got them, <clears throat> I made them some new cage liners, but I've been waiting to put them in because I had a bed custom made to go with the set of cage liners and the bed came in. So this video is gonna show their new cage liner set, um, their bed and their first experience in a macaroni dig box. <laughs> And they loved it. So anyway, I'm going to be doing a tutorial coming up this weekend. Um, I was kind of busy, so I didn't have time to do a tutorial. They take a lot longer to edit than regular, some of my regular ferret videos. Let's try it out. Here. All right, you ready? Here, come on, babies. One of these is not for you. One is for your sister, the cat, okay? Yeah. Here, you wanna go? I know it. Look it. Oh my goodness. This is for your sister. This is for your sister. Okay. You can test it one time. 
You can test it one time. But this is for your sister. I know, you just want the bag. And I will give you the bag. This is for Sissy. This is for the cat. Look at Luz. It's going to match our bed. Look at you. These were custom made for you. That blue one's not yours, boo. Alright, we need to take some pictures. Turn around. No, be a sunflower. Let's put it in our cage. You like it? Okay, so um, I also want to mention that the bed came from Chris's Cozy Creations. So I will put a link in my um, description so that you guys can find her. She's on Etsy. Amazing. Everything that we bought was packaged in this awesome packaging that makes noise like crinkle paper. And the ferrets love it. Um, obviously, I won't leave it in here when I'm not in here just because it makes me a little nervous to leave them unattended with it. But it's like a giant bag of cellophane -y type of paper. Anyway, they're digging it. Let's try it here.